I'm here back with a different video. In this video, we have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer 5, Aspire 5. The model is A. 515-51-52BQ, also known as an Aspire 5. In this video, I'm going to show you guys based on the request how to replace your screen for a broken LCD. Um, this one I already replaced it, so this is the broken one, so you can see all the um, damage right on the screen right here. So. I'm going to show you guys how to remove this screen, how to replace it with a new one. So let's get into it. First thing first, what you want to do, you want to power off the laptop and you want to place it upside down just like this. Okay? No, don't worry about this one because I didn't rip the protective shield on this one. What you want to do, you want to grab yourself a guitar pick or any opening tool. And you want to stick it between the bottom and top cover right here. And you want to just twist it from inside outward first. Okay, put it right there. And make sure you hear those clicks. Once you got a little bit open here, now you can put your finger right there. What you want to do, you want to just pull it up a little bit, not too much. You're going to see this gap. And work it around with your finger, just twist it and it will come and just do the same thing all around when you open it i'm just pulling this the inner side upward and just like a twisting just like that twist all around there you go once you get to the bottom corner now put your finger right in here and just run it all around all the way to the bottom and grab it open it all the way to the back and then just pull this one put your thumb right underneath and pull it up there is no screws on this bezel so just kind of let loose of that corner the same thing on this side so that's the bottom cover that you have right here all right and the screen, you don't need to remove the hinges or anything like that. The screen is held up by uh, four screws, one on top and two on the bottom. So there's a two right there, one on each side and one right there. You want to remove these two screws. I use the iFixit tool set and we're going to be using bit number zero, Phillips number zero. And we're going to remove the four screws. Once you remove the screws, just grab it from one corner and lift up the screen just towards the keyboard. Once you have it towards the keyboard, the rest should be really easy. What you want to do in here once you get there, you want to remove this contact. What you can do, you can grab a cutter and cut the what's called the tape over because they're going to have a tiny tape coming from here holding the connector so pretty much this was the old one so what I did here I just cut it in this tape which is right there so this tape was going over and going towards the hinge right there so pretty much I cut that, in, that out and then you can just slide back the connector for the LCD cable just make sure you evenly you have to pull it backward evenly and now let's say that you got the new panel right here place the panel right in there in front you can move a little bit more to this side so you have more room to play around you want to grab the connector align it right there and slide it evenly towards the jack okay let's move it down put it right there and then pull it towards the jack make sure all the gap is closed now once you're in there you can either use a captain tape or any sort of tape i use captain tape is really good for electric for electronics is really nice i'll put the link in the description just grab yourself a 
Captain tape, cut it out and place it right over. So it would prevent from the connector to just get loose. Just rub it in there a little bit and that's it. Once you got it right there, what you want to do Now you want to put a face down again. And you want to bring down over the screen to its place. Make sure you run the cable in so the cable doesn't stay under the screen. It has to stay right there. And align the corners. Make sure the holes stays nice in place. Um, put the four screws. So grab the top screw, the bottom one. Now if you want, you can go ahead and peel the protection on top, but I usually don't peel it up until I get the client in front of me, then I, I'll peel it in front of the client so they can see if it's new. Now what you want to do, you want to grab the bezel or the bezel and you want to open it up a little further and then stick it right in there, align it. Now. What you want to do, you want to just push on the bezel all the way down. Make sure you hit those clicks. And this one over here, I'll try to leave it like that. Press the corners. Just pinch them. Now. You want to open it up and if you see a little bit of gap right here, you see this little gap here, you just want to pinch it, it will just close. All right. All right, and that's how you replace your screen for your Acer Aspire 5. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. And if you guys subscribe, I'll really appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.